Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I have something super excited to show you guys. I have the new iPhone XS Max, which it took me about like 50 takes to properly say the name of that phone, but here it is. So basically before I open it, I just wanted to say I already opened it, but I completely reset the phone. I put a case on it. Um, I have opened it, but it's I reset it completely, so it's basically like new again. So we're going to open it, and I haven't taken anything else out. I just took the phone out to put the case on it. Um, so let's get started. So first we have all the paperwork and pamphlets and stuff, and I hope some Apple, oh yes, Apple stickers. I have so many. I literally save all the Apple stickers that I get from all of my Apple devices. Um, we have all this stuff, which I'm not really going to look at. And also, I'm also going to open some AirPods, which I they pretty much peer pressured me into. I'm just kidding. I've wanted them for a while and I couldn't say no. So I, I have them here and I'm going to open them next. Um, here is the phone itself. I actually got the iPhone Max um, 256 gigabytes in gold. So here it is. I have a clear case on it so you guys could kind of see the color pretty well. It's not too gold. It's like really, really light gold, but I enjoy it a lot. It's like a really nice color. And then here's the phone itself, as you guys can see. I have not taken the wrapper off yet. It still has it on because uh, my screen protector didn't get here in time. It got delayed. Thanks, Amazon. So I'm going to quickly set that up afterwards. Um, of course, there is a box to charge the phone. There are some headphones in here, but they're not AirPods. They have wires, so... My mom thought they were AirPods too at first, but they're not. And then, of course, we have a charger. I don't think there's anything else in the box. They don't even have the dongle anymore for the aux cord, which kind of sucks, but I still have mine for my last phone. If you guys didn't know, I'm actually upgrading from an iPhone 7 Plus. So I didn't have the 10 or the 8 or anything, so it's a really big change for me. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's set this up. Let's see if you guys can kind of see. Swipe to open. Um, basically, when I bought the phone, they set it up for me, so I didn't want them to set it up, but they still did it anyways. So I completely reset it when I got home because I wanted to do it. I mean, that's, for me, the best part, setting it up. And I don't, I literally don't want pictures on here. Like, obviously I'm going to take pictures and save pictures, but I just like starting from zero, starting from scratch. I obviously have a lot of storage, 256. I used to have like 32, so it's a really big upgrade, but... Uh, I'm still gonna I still want to start from nothing, you know new phone want a new feeling if you have an iPhone or iPad running iOS 11 Okay, we're just gonna set up the phone. Um, I'm gonna go get the Wi-Fi password. Okay, so I oh the uh, incorrect Wi-Fi password That's just great. I'll be back Okay, I'm back. I got the Wi-Fi password so um, Let's go on next so it's currently setting up um, like I said, they set it up for me and I completely redid it because I wanted to do it myself. Maybe that wasn't the best choice, but I always re I'd always do it myself when I get a new phone. So I decided what's the difference? I'm just going to do it by myself again this time. So it's going to reset. While it does this, let me explain. If I look like garbage, it's because I have been out trying to get this phone for hours. Um, I went to like four different T-Mobile stores. They all told me they had it in stock and once I got there, under five minutes later after they told me they had them, they told me they didn't. So that happened to me at three different stores. And the last store I went to, they told me they didn't have any. And we had to actually take an Uber to like 20 minutes away. They told me they didn't have it when I got there. And we were very upset because it was pretty far. So the, you know, the worker told us he was going to help us pay for the Uber or whatever because it was really expensive. And um, once he was doing that, he went to the back and he brought the phone, the exact phone that I asked for, which is really odd to me. But, you know, we got it and we were there for five hours trying to figure this out and trying to set it all up because we had to set up my mom's phone and my phone and stuff. So we were literally there for like four or five hours. So, yeah, face ID. This is what I'm very excited for. How to set up face ID. First position your face in the camera frame. Then move your head in a circle. Oh, wait, that's not even it. Oh, hello. Okay, so now my Apple ID is setting up. Terms and condition, obviously, accept. Um, and now it's just setting up. I think that's about it. We set up face ID, and I just realized this actually doesn't have touch ID. It doesn't even have a, a home button. I thought it was going to have touch ID for some reason, but it doesn't. Obviously, it has face ID, which we're going to test out. Um, it's going it's to take a little bit to, you know, load up. And I'm also, I also want to set up an emoji or Memoji, whatever they're called, like an emoji of myself, which I'm super excited for. While this is all doing its thing here, let me tell you all a story. Oh. 
Okay, let me tell you all story. So basically, I pre-ordered the phone when it when pre-orders came out at midnight. Okay, I called exactly 11:59. They did the pre-order for me. They told me I was one of the first batch of people to order it, and they told me they told me they told me it would get here on the 21st. And today, the day I'm filming this is the 21st. Uh, and my phone isn't gonna get here for another week. Why? Because they told me it was gonna get here on the 21st because I'm actually going out of state in like five days, no, like four days. And I told them I was gonna be gone, so I needed the phone as soon as possible. I don't have credit cards. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. Face ID. Oh my gosh. It's not letting me do face ID. Did it really not? Okay, it worked. Um, so they told me it would get here on the 21st, and then they shipped it on the 20th, and it's currently in Kentucky, you know, the day of release, the day it was supposed to be here, it's in Kentucky now. So that's just great. So now we're going to set up Siri. Oh, and screen time, which is a new feature on all phones, not just the new one. Um, if you update your phone, you get screen time, and it shows you how long you use your phone for. Um, so yeah. Oh, okay, so we're going to go in for the zoomed display instead of the standard display. I personally like the zoomed display more. And uh, she's giving us a little tutorial. I've already gotten used to it. I thought it was gonna get hard to get. I, I thought it was gonna be hard to get used to no home button, but it's so cool. Face ID. It worked. So as you guys can see, I've set it up, and um, I have absolutely nothing on here. I have no photos, no messages. Um, zero photos. I think. Updating. I better not have photos because I don't want photos. Yeah, I don't know why it's updating, but I don't think we have any photos, and I, I don't even think I have contacts, which kind of will suck. Oh, I do have contacts. Nice. Okay. Not my current contacts. For some reason, it's, it has my contacts from like two years ago. I don't know why. Um, okay. So, I think we're about done with that. Um, so, now we're going to open up the AirPods, which is something I'm super excited for also. I might be even more excited for this. No, probably not, but I'm very excited for it. Okay. Um... So basically how I got these is um, I was going to actually order them a while back and I didn't because my phone got delayed like I told you guys. So I was just like whatever there's no point in having new headphones yet if uh, my phone isn't going to get here yet. So then today they brought them out for me. I didn't even ask for them. They brought them out and the worker had him on and he showed them to me. They were really good and I personally love the Apple headphones. They never fall out of my ear. Um, I have Beats X wireless, which always fall out of my ear, so this is going to be a lot better, because this actually has no wire. It's literally completely wireless. Um, I think I need a knife to open this, though. Okay, so I just realized this is an awful angle, but, you know, we're almost done anyway, so there's no point in worrying about that now. Um, so my mom opened it for me. Oh my gosh, okay. I'm really excited for these, like so excited. I've been watching so many videos of AirPods, which is probably sounds so weird, but I've been watching so many videos. Are these gonna have Apple stickers? Uh, I don't think they do. What? They have no Apple stickers. Oh my God. So anyways, I have Beats X Wireless, which are also Apple. I know they're Beats, but Apple owns Beats. I didn't know that, uh, but they do. And the Beats X Wireless actually have a wire. So um, they always fall out of my ears. They don't really fit well for my ears, so yeah. This is way better. The Apple headphones never fall out of my ears. So, oh my God. First, first things first, these are super, super tiny. When I first saw the guy with them, I had no idea they were the Apple headphones because they were so small. Done. So I think all you need to do is turn on the phone Okay, my phone is on, and I think you just need to open this. I kind of want to show this to my mom, so I'm going to come here because I kind of want to show her how awesome this is. Okay, so I think all you need to do is turn it on and then open this. So I don't know how to open it, but... So you just turn it on, you unlock it, and then you open the case, and the AirPods already show up. It comes up on your screen. If you close it, it goes away, which is pretty crazy. And I think this also charges your AirPods. I was told it charges your AirPods, so I'm really excited for that. Um, this is my first time actually seeing one, like, in my hands. The guy had one at the store, but I didn't, like, touch them. I did get to see the case, but I didn't really get to see the AirPods themselves. <laughs> oh, my God, no. <laughs> my mom's getting the AirPod thing on her phone. Okay, we gotta make sure it goes on mine before anybody swipes. 
my my face ID isn't working I don't know why I think it's because I still have the wrapper on I don't know but it's not really recognizing my face which is kind of disgusting um okay it's currently connecting the airpods are at 87% and the case is at 77% um so let's I'll try it we're gonna go to the music app I have Apple music so this should be interesting um we're gonna go listen to some music and test it out I know you guys probably won't be able to hear it wait why can't I search for music on Apple music what is happening I need to log into my Apple Music, I think. I don't think I'm logged into my Apple Music. It feels bad. Okay, so for some reason, my Apple Music isn't working that great. Um, let me try searching for a song that I don't have in my library. Let me think. Uh, Gucci Gang? I don't think I have that. I actually do. What else do I not have? Let's try a Hannah Montana song. I already have a Hannah Montana song. What don't I have? Um... Selena Gomez. I don't have any Selena Gomez music, and I don't plan on it. But we're gonna see everything search up as so it shows up as no results. So I'm probably gonna have to figure that out soon. But for now, I'm going to try the music out. This is how it sounds just by itself. Can't play too much because we'll get a copyright strike. But you open them up, and I think it connects by itself. There you go. Connected it by itself. Um, and now I'm gonna try them on. It also knows when it's in your ear somehow, so when you take one out, the music stops playing. So I know they look really weird. And when you put them in your ear, they make a sound. So I know they probably look very weird, uh, but I, I like it. <laughs> you can barely even see them, honestly. Like, I'm gonna be wearing them, and people won't even know that I'm wearing them, but they stay in my ear really well. So let me see, can I play it? They said it was the right ear. I don't know. If you take one out, it stops playing. That's so crazy. And you put it back in, I think it starts playing again. It does. This is insane. Okay, so as you guys could see, when I have my hair down like I usually do, you can't really see my ear pods. Um, if I tuck my hair back, you can see them. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but just a, a, something I noticed. <laughs> People probably won't be able to see that I have headphones on, which might be good, might be bad, I don't know. But yeah, guys, that has been my AirPods and iPhone XS Max unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to smash the thumbs up button, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more videos. Um, I might make a video setting up my Memoji or Animoji thing. So if you guys want to see that, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Um, but I'll see you guys in the next video.